Hi guys and welcome back. So to start this Euphoria Skull tutorial, I'm actually going to start on the um, nice kind of glam eye. So I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz and just quickly um, fill out my brows a little bit and then I'll go in with a little bit of the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel as well just to hold them in place. So we're just doing that brow as normal. And then after that, I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer. I'm taking a Retriever Concealer from Huda Beauty and I'm going to use that to carve out my brow and also um, to conceal the lid as well as like a base for the eyeshadow that we're going to be going in with. So I'm just carving out nicely now with this Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush just to make sure that it's um, looking nice and glam because we want this side of the eye to look like super normal. And then for the actual eyeshadow, I'm taking the Huda Beauty Knit. I think it's the pink neon obsessions palette and i'm taking the kind of lilac -y purple shade and i'm just putting that into the crease i'm using the jacqueline hill morphe what is this the 32 brush and i literally love this such a nice blending brush and i'm kind of going out towards the wing as well then i'm taking this super um what's the word like iridescent like purpley silvery shade which is just beautiful i started off wetting um a flat brush but then also went a bit in with my finger as well because sometimes the shimmer shades in her palettes work really well with the shimmer and i'm actually taking this out into a kind of wing and i'm taking it underneath my eye as well and then going into the Norvina palette I'm taking the kind of lilac shade in that one as well um, I will list everything in the bottom bar below and I'm taking a small kind of shader brush and I'm really mapping out that kind of a wing look because in the euphoria tutorials they have like a really nice kind of super sharp wing and then you kind of go over with some gems which is kind of what we're going for in this eye and then I'm just cleaning up a little bit and then oh it's time for the gems honestly these are so so pretty and I got them so cheap off Amazon but I'm just going to speed through quite quickly um, because I mean it's a bit boring to watch but um, I'm literally just dipping it into a bit of like um, adhesive or like glue whatever glue you have and then popping it on with tweezers I found tweezers the easiest way to do this to be honest because sometimes they can be a little bit tricky <clears throat> and as you can see I've just gone all the way around the eye and it looks so cool and then I'm going to tight line quickly with some black eye pencil pop on some mascara this is the bad gal bang mascara from benefit it's so good and then for um, lashes, I'm obviously going in with one lash today. <laughs> well, I do put the other lash on later, but it's the Opulence Lashes from Lily Lashes. And then moving on to the face, I'm just priming because, I mean, why not? Who knows if I really need to prime with the Fenty Pro Filter Primer. And then I'm going in with the Oma Foundation. This is slightly too light for me at the moment, but I mean, it didn't really matter because we're going for kind of a creepy skull vibe anyway. So I just pop that all over. <clears throat> and then going back into the overachiever concealer i'm just taking that mm. underneath um the nice glam eye so we're going on the glam side and i'm just popping on concealer as we would normally in a nice makeup look i'm then going in and setting that with the vanilla loose setting powder from anastasia beverly hills and i'm mainly just going underneath the eyes but i do kind of go on the rest of the face as well in places where i know i tend to get a bit oily and obviously i don't want anything moving around on top when we go in with the cream oh so this is basically a dupe for the flash palette i just found it on amazon and it was so cheap so if you put like um uh, like cream flash palette or whatever on amazon you can actually find it so cheap and it's so good because the makeup forever one is so so expensive and this is basically exactly the same so what you see that i'm doing right now i'm just taking this kind of um taupey shade from the norvina palette from abh and i'm just taking this little angled brush and kind of mapping out where i want my teeth to go um for the skull look um i mean i'm not doing anything revolutionary here and to be honest i'll probably just let is like quite self-explanatory so i'll just let the video talk for itself but i'm just going to speed through it a little bit for you because it does take a little bit of time i'm now just going over with the black paint from the um the fake flash palette um and just going over everything and then i end up going in with the white and then i go in with a bit of shading so i'm just gonna leave you guys to check this out and i'm just going to speed it up a little bit so you can see what i'm doing
as you can see here I only kind of did half of that little hollow bit towards the bottom because I want it to kind of fade up into the glam side so which is I'm going which is why I'm going in with a bit of bronzer right here so I want it to kind of fade up into that kind of glam side without making it like a harsh line or anything like that I kind of just wanted it to blend in together and then I'm also contouring my nose on this side because I don't know I just felt like it and then as you can see I'm using a bit of brown just to kind of help blend into that bronzer shade and then I'm taking the taupey shade again and I'm blending underneath the teeth just to make it look a little bit more I don't know realistic 3d who knows and then going into the Alyssa Edwards palette from ABH I'm just taking the white shade and going over um, all of the white teeth just to kind of brighten them and set that in place Now going back in with the black cream paint from the fake uh, flash palette, I'm just mapping out the kind of hollow eye. Um, and what I decide to do, I do like fill this in with the black paint and then I go in with a black eyeshadow from the Alyssa Edwards palette. But then I also take the taupey brown shade and I really make sure to blend that. And I also do a little bit on the side of my nose. And I just couldn't resist bringing a little bit of the glam side to the skull side as well. So we're doing um, some little gems just above the brow or, well, I say brow, but it's the hollow, a hollow eye. And then I also take one and just put one um, in the inner corner and also on one of the teeth as well. Now for the glam side, we obviously can't forget a bit of highlighter. So I'm taking the 3D highlight palette from um, Huda Beauty and I'm taking a mix of the lightest shade and the golden shade, um, just because obviously this foundation's a little bit lighter and I'm popping that on the cheekbones and then I do a little bit on the nose as well because I thought it just looked cute. Then I'm just taking um, a little bit of bronzer to blend um, that kind of jawline intense contour that I did with like the black sh um, and brown shadow. And then I'm taking a bit of blush. This is the Orgasm Blush from um, NARS, I was about to say benefits, benefits NARS, and then I'm just popping that on with a big um, fluffy brush and trying to make that a little bit intense because um, we want to make it obviously really nice and dramatic, then I'm just doing last um, minute little bits, so I'm popping on the other lash, not that you can really see it but I feel like it just finishes off nicely. Then just going in and making sure everything is nice and blended once again, um, including on the nose as well. And then lastly, finishing off with a little bit of a setting spray to make sure that it lasts. And then I like just went in with a bit more of the highlighter just to bring a little bit of dimension to the chest as well. And that is this look done, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this slightly different um, Halloween tutorial. It's like a euphoria skull situation, but I thought actually it's not that difficult. You don't need too many things. Everything that you can buy is pretty cheap. You can put like a normal outfit on it. And if you did like it, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I really look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.